Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and today I have two beautiful new die sets to share with you. This one is the Vintage Fardo die set and this is the Festive Vintage Fardo die set. So they've both been designed to work together. This large set here, which has 30 dies, makes up the caravan that you can see here on the uh, packaging. And then this one has the all the Festive and Christmas add-on pieces to it here. And you can see lots of gorgeous little things that you could decorate your little caravan with. So I am going to show you through the two die sets very, very quickly and then I'm going to move on to making something because I can't wait, <laughs> it looks so beautiful. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to do that too and hit the notification bell, even share the video if you want and that helps my channel along and helps me keep coming back to give you more videos and hopefully you enjoy these construction videos. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up at the end and leave me a little comment. Thanks very much. My affiliate links for everything that I use as well will be down below in the description of the video. So thank you very much for that too. Now I've taken the die set out of this one just so that I can show you. When you open this up, the full instructions will be there for the just showing you how to make up the basic caravan shape. So it'll tell you up at the top here how many pieces of which pieces you need to cut out and then you can you know how to assemble them. But as I go along I'll be explaining how you can add all the decorative pieces to it together and then how I assemble it. it might be slightly different from this but it'll turn out the same in the end hopefully. <laughs> so there we are that's that one and then this one obviously only has this side panel that's different um, which actually suits the caravan and the rest of these are all little festive dies so technically all of these could be used with something else except this one because it fits with the other set um, but it really does work so well with the other set that I think you'll want to make a lovely Christmas caravan as well. And I think a little battery tea light or something inside with the light shining through those windows would just be absolutely gorgeous. Just a very, very quick look through this and you'll see that this is the basic uh, set for making the caravan itself. So we've got the roof within the two roof panels here, the door, the door that opens and closes, the side panels, the area for the front and back. Then we've got a decorative panel that goes along the side and the little steps down here. But if you look closely at that, you'll see there are lots and lots of pieces that you could use for other things as well. That could definitely be used as a decorative panel. I think that would be absolutely gorgeous as a little fairy door. And then there's little lights here that are beautiful. These borders could be used in so many different ways and these little windows on different cards and things as well. But obviously, the showstopper and the main thing that is so beautiful is all of these put together. But don't forget, you can definitely get a lot more mileage out of your die set than just the Vardo. A quick look through the smaller die set then and you'll see some lights, snowflakes, Christmas tree, little garlands, more lights. Beautiful border here with little snowflakes on it. Uh, presents, a little sign, um, holly a wreath, another little sign that says Merry Christmas. That is so cute. Happy Holidays. I'll be using the Merry Christmas one, but we've got lots and lots of things there. And this is the beautiful panel that you would uh, swap out for the panel that's already in the main die set. I'm actually just going to show you the main panel. That's it there. But this one will give you some more festive things in it with swirls and holly and whatnot through there and little stars. And that is just gorgeous. It's so cute. And that would be really, really lovely done with some uh, sparkly colours and glitter and maybe mirror card and things in it as well. First of all, you'll need to cut two of these and four of these. And on one of these ones, you'll leave one just as it is. And then on the second one, tape this die down into the centre of it. So you can uh, just put it on like that and then put this one in and make sure you have that with even spaces the whole way around. And cut that out and that will give you that shape so just hold on to those two temporarily and we'll move on to this one now on two of these you'll need to cut some tabs off but we'll come back to that later the two that I'm going to use at the moment just stay as is now I really really want to put battery tea lights in this so uh, I'm really hoping this works if it doesn't work you'll not see it because I'll edit it out so that you don't waste your time but right, right now, I really want to try and cut little holes into this. It's not really designed for that. So you can just leave your panels flat and follow the instructions without cutting any of this into it. So this next little piece may not be what you want to do. Right, 
I've got two of these and I want to cut the little uh, aperture right through that and through this which is the other the sort of flat panel and then I've cut these two together and I've got that in ivory and I've cut that out here as well so I want apertures through all of those because those will all be on the side so what I need to do first of all is make the aperture on here when they when it comes out first of all both sides will look like this and then I want the little one with the curtains on it for this uh, little Vardo and when you cut this out it will give you this little shape Obviously, this is the wrong colour, but I've cut that out in brown, but it will give you the shape cut out. It doesn't actually just cut the little aperture there. So what I'm going to do first is glue this onto here. And you can do it in two ways. You can do it in stages the way I've done here. Cut it through that and then cut it through that. Or you can go ahead, glue it onto that and cut it through the two. So I'm going to do that first of all and show you. I only left that one like that to show that you can do it in different stages. got the apertures out of here but I also need them through here so I'm going to line this up and if you see here at the corner of this one just gets put right in there and you can go ahead and glue this now when you've got those lined up perfectly straight across the bottom and all in place there and you can pop that little die back in again and cut it right through the second the third layer there and it just pops in right like that now, I wouldn't have chanced that through the three at once because there's there's a bit of detail in this one. If it had been just a little arch on its own, I would have done that. But I'm doing it in three different stages here, or two as it is. But you could do it in three. But um, all I need to do is make sure that this is lined up. Leaving the glue tabs aside, you'll li line it up with the corners there, right across. wanting to have these little windows open you could go ahead just leave the panels off and and just keep the side panels without the holes cut in and add the front and back pieces on with the glue tabs and and you don't necessarily have to do this but it, if you want to do it this is the best order now I've got a little piece of acetate cut here and that's 10 centimeters by four and a half and I'm going to glue that on in behind those little windows to add two little windows with shutters on there and I have cut uh, this little die out twice and that gave me this shape but I really loved the idea of having some red in behind that so I'm going to show you how to do that and, and uh, have it nice and neat at the end just put some glue on there and then where the fold of that is now not the outside edge the fold make sure it's up against the edge a very very straight edge not just something that you've cut off with scissors or whatever but make sure that's straight there and down at the bottom as well and you can go ahead then and just cut that straight up there you'll feel the scissors just snugly up against it and follow the line right round there and you'll get that uh, just a lovely little added addition onto that so that you've got uh, the little hearts color covered in in red isn't that nice and then I'm going to show you how to make little curtains for it as well I wanted some little curtains on it so I have found some patterned paper with a fine dot pattern on it there and if you're going to put something on here you could use plain curtains or whatever but something with a small pattern looks really really nice and I'm just going to glue that directly on top and just make sure you get it all lined up so that these little lines in the middle aren't showing or you could do as I've done before and nip those out but if you glue those on together then you can glue this right on top of the acetate and pardon any background noise, my little doggy Nico is snoring away, he's in a really deep sleep and he's making a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. 
you can see there I actually uh, made this one and sandwiched the uh, vellum in between. I think it's maybe a little bit difficult to explain so I've just left it like that but that's why there's a difference in the two of those. Uh, this one's easier and easier for you to follow and uh, on the inside you'll, you'll not really notice that anyhow but you could even put a little panel over the top of it if you wanted but that's why they're both different I'm just explaining that but anyway now I've got my two panels with the little windows and curtains and they do look lovely don't they and the glue tabs are all burnished back and folded up and ready to roll here so I am going to glue this glue tab directly on here and then this one on here and this one on here and join those all up in a line like that. go ahead and join the whole thing up by putting glue on the last tab here and folding it over like that and all the glue tabs then are on the inside and there you are if you're wanting to add any of the little lights onto the front of it now is the time to do that because you won't be able to just get at it properly to hold it together whenever you finish. So uh, you'll cut out two of the little lights, uh, one for each side, you know, like this, and then another one for the other side there. So that's four of the same little light. And glue this together, but just not that little back tab, because that's going to open up and go through the inside of the little caravan. There we are. Now this actually is a little bit fiddly, so I would suggest if you're going to do this, I've just done one already and I love the gold light, but it's very fiddly to get the gold piece. I've got it in, so obviously I have to match it, but it's fiddly to get that gold piece through. So what I would do is possibly make this in black card or uh, brown or something else and paper piece this back onto the top. So you'll still have your gold light. Uh, you could even put a little piece of acetate or even something um, coloured in through there something yellow or whatever make it look nice and bright and light like so come to this little fold here and these pieces are going to get uh, folded backwards so I'm going to do that right now and then push them together again but I want to make sure that they actually can fold right back at this stage and then just push them both together now you can see I was holding that other one on with a little glue, with a little peg. So the little slits are here and here to put those lights in. And I'm just going to down this with my pokey tool just to uh, open it up a little bit more. As I say, it's quite fiddly to get the mirror card through, but I do like the, the look of it in the end. But So just push the, the two of them together and push them in through there. Now you can pop glue just down in here and here. Oh, you can't see that. <laughs> so I'm putting glue down in, let's see there and there. And then I'm going to just take the tweezers again and open these up. I might have to do this off camera because I need to get my head in closer and that will go into the screen. But uh, just open those two up. There we are and bring them out like that. Now, I have, uh, as you saw with the other one there, I have held that together with a little peg just until it dried. I've taken the large panel die and I have sort of shaped it a little bit with a bone folder. Then I've taken a plain panel made with this one and then a panel of both these two together with the ivory, sorry, with the brown and put it on top of the cream. And now I'm going to glue all of these little tabs and these ones back and front and glue this right on the top there. And you'll see here the little two little spuds or two little protrusions. I don't know what, what you'd actually call them, but those should be pointing outwards at the back and front. 
Now I'm just going to have to make sure here that all this glue is, has grabbed properly before I put that on because you don't want this coming apart at the seam here. I find that the easiest way to do this is just by lining up the back. Make sure the centre is in the centre of the back and this area is solid so it's easier to hold it and hold the two sides together here and then if there's any little areas coming out or going to the wrong place hold them in very very slowly and carefully and then just take your time and hold that for a second or two even a, even a minute or so and then you'll be able to just align everything else here if necessary just pop a little of extra glue in but you want to make sure you've got one area all glued in properly first of all and then you can move on to the here and you'll be able to feel on the inside here and glue this tab along and uh, just reinforce that glue with your hand as well. Now I can go ahead and glue the base in so you see I've got the two other panels here that I cut at the same time as the side panels and I've cut off the long glue tabs on one of them I've just got the two end tabs and on the other one I've cut off all of the glue tabs so I've just got the rectangle now when you come to this part here I'll be able to put glue on these two long tabs that are already on there and glue on here just here and here on those tabs and pop that in so that that's all attached like so. Now I'm going to turn this up because I don't want it falling right through but that's that's how it's going to go and um, I will hold that by this tab here and then turn it over and then I'll be able to fold these two pieces in and burnish them down from the inside. I'm going to make the little steps so I've cut out four of these and as you can see I've left the tabs on one and I've cut the long tab off the other three so that one's the top step and the other three are the other steps and then I've cut this die out twice and this area here that has the little uh, slits in it is the part that you're going to add these little side tabs through I've put the little tabs through the slits in this long side here and if you're using craft card like me and it's sort of double sided like that, this is the craft perfect cra craft card and um, this is the orientation that you will have it so that the top side's facing up on the steps. So I'm just going to show you it here. And then you can go ahead and pop the other side on there as well. And then when you've got these little glue tabs glued down here you can cover that with one of these. Now I've cut out these little panels for the sides and I wanted to make those very sturdy so I've cut out four of these and then just backed them the opposite way round onto each other there so this is uh, double thickness here. I can then go ahead and glue these on here and you'll see that lovely brown coming through there as well and I'll do the same on the other side. Then this little tab just gets glue on the underside of it and I can fold that in and that is secures that onto there. Oh and you'll probably see while I was away there just for a minute or two while I was doing some more die cutting I actually put these two dies together and cut that out in some ivory card just the top part there and then I nicked it off from this point to here and here to here and I just put that on here because I felt that that needed just a little bit of reinforcement up there. I've done a little bit of paper piecing on the door then so I cut the door out with this die 
and then I cut this one out in ivory and I've glued that on top. You can't see much of it there because I've mostly covered it but I wanted to have some ivory showing around there. And then I used both of these together with the brown card and I glued that on top of there. And then any card that you can see here has actually been paper pieced again. So I just put some craft card in behind this area and put some glue in here, turned that over and popped out all my little die cuts through there onto the door again. And there you have it. I've got the three colours on the door. So now I'm just going to go ahead and glue this tab down inside here. Now I've got four of these and four of these. So I'm going to glue the gold ones on top of the craft ones. And then you can see I've already added the other three on, but I just wanted to show you what this, how to do this. So I'll hold that together there. And while I'm holding that, I can put some glue on here. This is the easiest way because it means that you're not going to get glue anywhere you don't want it if you put it on the actual wheel itself. So just put it on there, leaving a little rim with no glue on it. And then you can go ahead and glue that just on there. And now you can see I have added a little bit of ribbon in here and that's going to be my little closure so I can put that through. I've threaded it through in behind the two little holes up at the above the heart there and that keeps it nice and central and I can go ahead and put it through here and then tie a little bow in it. Now that looks really really lovely just as it is there but if you want to add the little border in you'll be able to just glue it in underneath the overhang by putting some glue along that tab on the top side and then you can just slip it in there like that. Now you'll probably notice that I didn't decorate the back of this until I came to the end and um, I could have done that sooner and in fact the reason was because I was kind of dithering if I wanted to cut the panels in and have this tea light being able to show through there. You can't actually see the tea light in this light, but I'll take some photos of it in a darker area later. But anyhow, I decided not to do that. If I had, if I would have uh, put the cut the panel in at the start. But what I've done now is just added the same part that I got at the front here. So I've used this die and this one together and then I've cut off the glue tabs and I've put it in there. Then I've just placed this one on top of some brown card and put it on here. And then I made my little windows in exactly the same way and glued it on top with the vellum there. And it looks like a little window, but it's not actually because the light doesn't show through it. And I've got lots of little flowers on there. I've got my tying at the front and I'm just thinking there are probably different ways of having this because I'm thinking of the door at the front where you open this and uh, get in and out and some people live in those and then they've got a little window at the back. I've been watching some people on YouTube doing this and it's actually really nice. This Fardo looked really, really pretty and I thought I'd go ahead and make a Christmas one. And I've obviously cut the little windows in there so you can see the light out. And that would be gorgeous on a Christmas one. But I thought, seeing I'd showed you it that way, I'd go ahead and show you the different way on the next one. So I'm making the next one in white. And then I'm going to add lots of red and gold and green and whatnot. And I'm using the second little die set, which is this one. And lots of these dies in here. So you'll see the main difference is the panel die on this one has all the this lovely design on it and then on this one you can see that it's got um, beautiful scrolly Christmassy things with holly and ivy and whatnot on it and then I'm going to use these little windows but this time I'm going to set them on top instead of um, cutting them into it as I said. So I have gone ahead with the panels the way it it's shows you in the instructions and I have put all this together first of all and then I'm going to go ahead after that and add the panels onto the side. So I'll add the base in first and I just need to take my little glue tabs off these and go ahead in the same way as I did before. 
adding the base in there and then putting the roof on. I've cut the roof in some red card this time. I thought that was really, really nice. And then the pattern is in gold and I've left some gold in just for a little extra detail. So I'll add that on and then I'll go ahead after that and take the tabs off and put the little base in here. So I've gone ahead then with this panel from the original set, the Vintage Vardo set. And then this one is from the Christmas set and you can see here the beautiful holly and whatnot. So I have glued that together, put little windows on top with vellum in between and I've actually used my little glitter gloss pen. That's this one to add some shimmer around there too. I was going to paper piece this but I kind of like it just the, the way it is. And I have actually gone ahead then and paper pieced these little uh, holly leaves in and I've added some berries and then I have added the little garlands across there. There's loads and loads of different things that I could be using out of this so I'm going to go ahead and add some more but that's the little garland there um, and then you can see here I actually was going to use this was really really beautiful with the snowflakes but I just decided that this would be lovely and I've added that and then I have added some glitter drops and that's snow blizzard. I think that's what it's called anyway. White blizzard. <laughs> Uh, glitter drops along the edges there as well so I've got that on both sides and then I have put this little panel on the back the same as I did on the other one only in gold with red insert here and I'm going to go ahead now and cut the door and all of the rest of this will be similar made up in the same way as I did the other one except that I'm going to add lots of these little embellishments onto the end of it so I'll go ahead now and add my little uh, wheels doors and windows on the back there I'm really really chuffed at that. I think that's the word. I've added so many details onto it now and I loved all the gold and the white together and the red and the little steps with the gold on the side of them and I put the little present on here, the little gift and then on here you can see I've got the little wreath and then Merry Christmas. I snipped that off. That had a little hanger on it and then down the sides here I didn't put the leaves, the leaves, the lanterns this time I put the little stars hanging down there and I think that looks really, really pretty. On the back then, I've got this little window with the gold shutters on it. And I've put some glitter drops in on the window panes there. And the bell and the bow and the little stocking down below there. And it looks really, really pretty. I actually think inside here, I've, actually, I've had a little break, so I've, <laughs> I've forgotten. But I think inside here, I actually put mistletoe as well. So let's just have a little look. Now, that's my two Vardos finished. Oh, I made a little Christmas tree as well. So you see how lovely. I actually cut out four of those, folded them in half in this down the middle and glued them together and it makes a lovely little dimensional tree. So I'm just going to set that beside it whenever I've finished and I'll take the photos. It's got quite late now, so I'm going to take the photos in the morning. And there's my other little Vardo. So there are the two of them together. And aren't they really beautiful? They really, really are. So well done to the designer. Whoever designed those, they're really, really pretty. Now, just before I go, I wanted one last thing. So I have taken a little A2 card here and I put some paper on that had like a tree bark. That's an older tonic uh, speciality paper. I just can't remember the name of it there, but an older speciality paper. And I had some of it left. So I've put that on the back and made a little fairy door with this. So it's the same door from the little Vardo there. And I've added the bow at the top, paper pieced some pieces in and everything here is from that set. So this is the border that would go along the side of the Vardo, the little windows with the, the um, curtains. And then I know this is supposed to be uh, fir, fir branches or whatever, but I've just put it on there as little uh, window boxes or something like that. And a little lantern coming out from behind the door. And it's just a little extra way of using your die set. Oh, if you have hung in for all of this, thank you so, so much. Um, it's been a long video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed I really, really have to say I love how those turned out and really, really enjoyed making them as well. So thanks very, very much. And until next time, I just want to say, first of all, before I go, um, don't forget if you haven't subscribed to do that, hit the notification bell, give me a big, big thumbs up and leave me a little comment down below, please. That would be so good of you, so nice and so kind. And my affiliate links for everything I've used are down in the comments in the description of the video as well. 
and until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.